Hi, it's Laura. I am here to tell you some exciting news. I am selling on a new platform and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that platform and show you some of the things that I'm going to have on there during my first sale. Um, the platform is called Whatnot and it is an auction based format. Primarily you can do some buy it now stuff through there, but it is essentially all live auctions. So I'm really excited to get into doing this and trying it. Um, it does have the potential to make me zero money, but it also has the potential to make me a lot of money and move product quickly, which is exciting to me. So as I go through and talk to you a little bit about whatnot, I'm going to show you all of the things that I plan to put up for auction during my first sale. Um, I will tell you upfront that this is probably super ambitious. I don't think I'll be able to get to all of these during my first sale. So these are the things that I pulled out to list there. <laughs> from my first auction sale. Um, the way that Whatnot is structured, all of their auctions are pretty short. Um, they are generally 20 to 30 seconds from what I've seen. I think they can go anywhere from like 15 seconds to five minutes. I have not seen anybody run any longer than a minute. Um, and Whatnot started off as a platform for more collectible things like Funko Pops. And I wanna say like modern, trading card type things like I don't know like Pokemon shit and all that kind of crap right that's I, like I'm not familiar with all that stuff but they have gotten into um, vintage clothing vintage decor modern thrift clothing a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm also still unaware of I've played around a lot as a buyer on whatnot and it's been fun there are definitely some times where it can be tedious um, but it's one of the reasons I'm excited to sell on this platform because all of the things that really annoy me about other people's streams are things that I would fucking kick ass at. And so we're gonna start going through some of this. Um, the clothing that I'm gonna show you today is all stuff that came from an estate, all the same woman. Um, it was, I've had it since like March of 2020, way early in the pandemic and my friend's grandmother passed away and I was able to take essentially everything that this woman had and she had a ton of stuff and it was glorious. Um, the things that I have here are all things that do need some work. Maybe they just need cleaning, maybe they need some repair, maybe they need both. Um, she had amazing taste, expensive taste, but then she also sometimes did weird little alterations later as you just like chopped the bottom of a skirt off and things like that. If you've watched any of my videos from a couple years ago, you may um, have seen me doing some of the haul from this estate sale. So I've had these things for a very long time and some of them are a little bit overwhelming to me as far as trying to um, refurbish them. That's not the restore them, whatever. So a lot of these things I still could work on. It's just been so slow going and I feel like this is a great opportunity for me to draw a lot of attention during my first Whatnot show and um, maybe get rid of some of this inventory that's been sitting around for a very long time and provide fantastic inventory to people who are able to either um, sort of restore it, clean it, repair it, or use it for a costume or whatever, hoard it themselves for five years, I don't care. Okay, so I'm gonna start going through this. It's so exciting to me. All right, um, the first thing that I have is this very beautiful cocktail dress, and it's probably 50s, maybe 60s. It's got a side metal zipper. Um, I don't know what's going on with the bodice. It, there's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this has always been the way the bodice is. If I take the hanger off, it just is floppy. There's no like boning. I don't know how it stays up. It has a needle and thread as though something was being repaired on it. I don't know what, if it was sequins, but you can see it's really beautiful. Um, the skirt itself is in great shape. And so if somebody can do something with this, it's fantastic. And I'm gonna start this off at a dollar for my whatnot auction on Saturday the 24th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Link will be below. I don't know if I even said that actually. I'm going to put the link to the show down in the description of this video. Um, if you have never signed on to Whatnot before or you haven't signed up with an account, signing up through that link will give you a $10 credit towards purchases, whether those are with me or somebody else. Um, 
if you have signed on to whatnot before then i'll just give you my show so it'll be cool all right anyway that's that dress super amazing um it's gonna be fun okay the next dress i have is this very adorable little sort of cocktail dress i was gonna call it a wiggle dress and it's not so never mind um but you can see it's all covered with lace it smells like vintage hoarder so that's issue number one i ideally would soak it but i haven't gotten around to doing that yet because it's a little uh because i have 700 of these <laughs> kinds of things and i haven't done it yet so um anyway very cute and uh for a dollar start you know um somebody will hopefully pick that up it'd be very fun um let's see i have this which is really fun i actually have this currently up in the wounded birds group on facebook if you're familiar with that uh nobody has tried to purchase it yet it's silk it's got such a fun print um, I feel like it's maybe 70s, like it's got kind of an 80s look to me, but it's got metal zippers up the back. It's really cool. Um, the There's like an internal dress that has its own zipper, which you can't see very well in this light, but here it is. And then there's the external zipper. Um, this has some pulls that aren't very noticeable because of the print of the fabric. Um, it also is just like kind of a cool like jacquard kind of it's really cool i love it it's so pretty um but it also smells like a vintage order so there's that um one of the things that does help a lot with this is like letting them hang in the sun for a day or two but obviously if it stinks um you can get rid of the smell but there's probably still some sort of funk right these were all really just sitting in an attic for like decades she had a cedar closet built in the attic which is amazing but most of them were still like open air within that cedar closet and after you know literal decades um i'm sure things you know got dirty this is very pretty look at the color gorgeous gorgeous it does have whatever that seems to be fade there i don't think yeah i think that's fade i don't think it's dirt um i love the silhouette and then the back metal zipper this does have like armpit funk um, and again, smells like vintage order. Uh, I don't know what that smell is like, if it's a combination of body oils and dust and dirt over years, you, you know, if you know the smell, you know it, it's just, that's the best way I can describe it. But, um, such a pretty dress. So I enjoy, I think that ideally with stuff like this, that, that mostly is just smelly is letting it chill out in the sun for a day or two and then sending it to the dry cleaner. Um, it's not stuff that I've done so far. Anyway, um, all of these are going to be auctioned off starting at a dollar. Obviously my hope is that they go higher than a dollar, but if they do not, my alternate and additional hope is just that the stuff is so cool and the price is so low that it draws a lot of people in to watch and helps me build a following. And I anticipate my first two or three shows at least maybe not bringing in a whole lot of money but that's one of the reasons i'm excited to go through this sort of backlog of stuff that i have is because i have this inventory that i got for free that's very appealing that i can easily let go of inexpensively if that's what happens um with the hopes that it allows me to build a better following um a lot of what i see on whatnot the um you know, so it's essentially like a YouTube video. You have somebody in front of a camera live, they're speaking, showing you product. Um, and they run these auctions, as I said, anywhere from, you know, 20, 30 seconds in general. Um, but there's so much downtime for so many of them. Uh, people who are, first of all, if they're selling clothing in front of a camera, sometimes it's literally like a dirty warehouse behind them. They're wandering around picking things up they haven't really planned in advance so there's a lot of silence there's a lot of inactivity on the camera or just watching somebody shuffle through a box of clothing or maybe just hold up a dress and talk about something else instead of telling you about the fucking dress that kind of shit happens a lot and as a buyer it's frustrating um, to me I get bored easily um, the way that the platform is set up is that you go in and it basically shows you again similar to YouTube where you have all these different shows that you can choose to watch and it tells you who's live at the moment and then also just shows you who's got scheduled shows and you can search by category 
um, and you go into a show and for me I go in what's going on is it something that I'm interested in or not because sometimes it's a vintage clothing category but it's like the t-shirt bros selling like a 2010s graphic tee is a vintage shirt like that's not my thing right so I go in I see that that's what it is and I bounce um, but if I can't really tell what's going on right away what I will do is go into the store so each whatnot show will have a little store icon and through that icon you can see what the seller has listed as buy it now items and uh, what the seller has preloaded in their auctions not all sellers preload their auctions or they preload them with very generic things. So they may just say like item one, item two and not have any pictures or information. So based on that, I have no incentive to stay in those shows, but if a seller has those things preloaded, I can go in and see if this is a show that I wanna hang out for. With the nature of these shows being as they are, buyers tend to kind of pop in and pop out rather quickly. Um, you are alerted when somebody pops in. As far as I can tell, you are not alerted when they leave, but you do have a running count of how many people are in your show at any one time. Um, so my goal is to try and keep buyers engaged with what they're seeing and also allow them to have information to decide if they want to stick around or not. I'll talk about this dress now so that you'll stick around. Um, really cute. Look at those colors, pink and green, like watermelon colors, um, metal zipper up the back. It smells that's its only problem i am afraid to soak it because it's silk and i'm a little afraid of color run oh but there are pieces of this fabric that i also have um i don't know if she cut sleeves off or what it was it clearly was part of this dress and it was sleeves maybe there was a jacket that went with it i don't know um that i've always kind of held on to these bits but maybe i can try and soak one of those and see what happens Anyway, I'll run it on Saturday. If it doesn't sell, then I'll try and do that. But this is really cute. The other thing with all of these pieces is she was a tiny woman. She was like four foot 10 and very petite. So these are all pretty much the same kind of size. Um, this is really pretty, but has issues, you know, so it's this like orangey red velvet. So cool. It's got this beaded waist band that does not detach. It's as is but she chopped the bottom off. Um, I think I have that bottom somewhere also, but like it wasn't very usable. I may have thrown it out. I can't remember. It wasn't anything exciting. I just could tell that it went to this dress. Um, so anyway, if somebody gets that bottom fixed, it's a really cute dress. It's so great for the holidays. I love the beading at the belt even, even if that's all that somebody did was like salvage that, that's amazing. Um, it is a nylon zipper, so cute. And you know, a lot of these, a lot of these don't have tags or they do, but the tags are kind of um, more like at the waistline area or at the bottom of a zipper. So I'm not hunting for tags with you right now. I will have them sort of shown for my auction stuff because some of, some of the stuff is like designer stuff, you know? Um, anyway, this is so cute. I love this. This is another one that I probably should just try and soak, but look at this. So it's the dress. I don't know if there was another button there. There might not have been, um, but look at that. The shape is <laughs> wrinkled, <laughs> but it's cute. It's cute, almost sort of wiggle. Pockets, look at that. I love it. All right, anyway, this is, it just smells funny. That's its only problem. So uh, another great piece. What I'm like super ambitiously hoping to do is to be able to get photos of these on myself, just one or two for the preloaded auction information um, because during the show, I'm not gonna be trying things on. Also, I'm fucking dying right now. I don't have my AC on because it sort of like interferes with sound and I've got the lights on, so you can see. Um, sweating to death. And I'm very concerned about that for the show because I don't currently have like a separate microphone or anything um, to help me with that. And I, the only headsets that I have are like wired and that's awkward, especially if you're gonna be moving. Anyway, so I'm trying to do this without AC. We'll see. This is a really cute dress. Um, I do have a picture of this with me on, a picture, a picture of this on me already. 
Um, I don't, I was going to put it on Wounded Bird, but I can't remember if I already did or not. Anyway, um, this is silk. I don't know what this is. It could be linen or cotton. I don't think that this had any tags in it. It's beautiful, but it does smell and it's like just kind of grimy. I think, I can't remember if there was actual spots, but it's like yellowy, like it needs to be clean cleaned. I just never have enough faith in dry cleaners for stuff like this. Um, but it is so beautiful and they're, I mean, it's so beautifully made and this is really flattering on, which is exciting. Okay, next, this, this is super cool. This is a, well, three piece if you count the belt, two piece really. So it's got this very cute, um, well, get out of here. This very cute. <laughs> All right, here, cute dress. I love the neckline. Um, I can't tell if she replaced the zipper or not. It's got like some unusual stitching. I don't know, whatever. Uh, metal zipper though, up the back. Really just such a pretty silhouette. It's like a velvet burnout, as you can see. Um, the bow at the neckline, it's so pretty. And then the jacket, oops. Oh. Not quite bolero, but a little bit, probably hits at the waist. Fun little elbow length sleeves, beautiful. Again, it's just a little stinky. And then it has this belt. So very fun, so excited for these. All right, this dress was not from her. This was, you may also have seen in another haul. Um, I had gone to a yard sale of an Etsy seller that I just stumbled across in a community garage sale at one point and got a bunch of stuff from her. So this is a 40s dress and it's gorgeous. However, it does have um, holes. Well, you can't really see it. I gotta make sure that there's hole. There we go. There's holes in the skirt there. And I think there's one in the bodice here. Yeah. So uh, this is a little dirty. I, I have already soaked this a little bit because the armpits were, ugh, Jesus, so bad. Um, that's better, but you know, and I can't bring myself to throw it away, but I don't know what to do with it. So we're gonna stick it up for a buck. Um, I suppose I could always like try to donate to donate it to like a high school theater program or something. It doesn't work out. All right, next is this very, very, very pretty silk. This is like a wiggle dressy type of situation. I love the back on this. This is a little fucked up though, because there's a lot of shredding on the shoulders, right? See, yeah. And um, some of the, the underarms and stuff. The rest of the fabric is very stable though. Um, this, I think there's shredding down here in the sort of hip area also. This is a dress that I thrifted many years ago and I actually wore this a few times myself because of the fact that it was damaged. Um, it wasn't quite damaged enough, but over the years, the shoulders have um, shredded up a bit. So I'm gonna throw it up for a buck, see what happens. Oh my God, does not wanna stay on that hanger. Okay, let's see. This is some kind of crazy coat. Um, I think it's missing, no, it's not, I guess. I don't think it's missing buttons. Um, I think the biggest issue with this is that I don't know what the fuck is going on with these sleeves, right? I don't know if they're supposed to be rolled up. I think they are, but they're not like wanting to stay. However, there's like buttons way high up these sleeves. I think they are supposed to be like, like this, right? Um, there's a button that's missing. So there's three buttons there. Um, but like they're not tacked up and they just fall, whatever. I've washed it already. Um, so the smell issue is non-issue and it's just been sitting on my clothing rack waiting for me to figure this out and I haven't done it. So guess what? It's going up for auction. Um, I will show you the tag on this cause I know where it is. Look at, that's so cute. All right. So that's that. Um, this also came from the grandma hoard. So, um, this dress also came from granny hoard. I love it. I don't know, I'm saying dress. I don't know if it's a dress or a coat. Um, I have gone through 
a couple of different phases of working on aspects of this and it just sort of keeps being a thing that's in my not in my way I soaked it to get rid of the smell that worked nicely um, look at this silhouette so this is the you know the collar I love this contrast stuff matches the buttons and then it's like very fitted in the waist so you can see these buttons are wonky she had moved the buttons and I think I need to place it somewhere else again um, this also has a bunch of moth holes like little bitsy moth holes all throughout even with the moss hole I think it's so cool um, it's like flares out it's so fucking pretty like yeah it's a coat because it's not a dress I don't know what I'm thinking um, there is like a waist stay on the inside and it's just so cool but like look at like you can see the moth holes and shit it's you know come up there so like it's gorgeous and it was really well made when it was made the material is great but it's got these fucking holes and just whatever so it might be a really fun piece for somebody to maybe like embroider over where the moth holes are or I don't know if they can do something with it they can buy it for a dollar and please do something with it and save it and don't make me feel guilty about I can't get rid of it so I can't throw it away right this coat um is very cool I actually bought this in a thrift store and then it was missing a button here and these are like you know like fancy shit buttons right um and also it was like smelly and I didn't realize it was smelly when I bought it. Um, it says 13, I'm pretty sure I paid half price for this. There's the, the tag though, Yonette Fashions. It's really cool, it's so pretty. Of course I love the leopard print, um, but uh, this is real fur. So I do not want to, um, like it needs to be dry cleaned and that's just, uh, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. So it's gonna get auctioned off super cheap and uh, hopefully somebody will appreciate it um, one of the things to know oh good god I'm sweaty about whatnot is that obviously so a coat like this right I'm gonna auction it at a dollar but it's fucking heavy so there's going to be shipping obviously um, whatnot does discounted shipping once you purchase one item the rest of your shipping is discounted at the, you know and of course everything goes by weight you're not going to get like a five pound coat for a 50 cent shipping charge but um their shipping prices are quite good once you've bought one item and they absolutely allow for you to buy a very lightweight item as your first item and then you get discounted shipping on the heavier items and then everything is combined right at the end um, and I'm saying everything is combined, but they do like, like if I buy three things, you get charged as you buy on whatnot. So if I win an auction, I get charged. When the next auction, I get charged. So sellers can choose to do bundles for people. So if somebody says, you know, yeah, I want that coat, you know, I want to bundle it, I'll throw it to the side and then next two or three things throw to the site you can do that kind of stuff i'm not familiar enough with that yet to know how that works i obviously i'm not going to throw a coat to the side for one person who wants to make a bundle if um they haven't actually bid and i don't know how high it would potentially go so i don't really know how that works yet but i know that you know you can obviously choose to like bundle multiple things together and then have them sell for one shipping charge instead of multiple Either way, the shipping charge is really reduced after you've bought your first thing. So what a lot of sellers have done is they will preload items into their buy it now section and they'll have items in there for like a dollar or, you know, just cheaper items that are lightweight so that you're paying that lightweight shipping as your initial charge. And then as you're buying through other things, you're getting less, um, less of a shipping charge. And as a buyer, once you've bought that first thing, when you are in an auction and you're bidding, whatnot displays what your shipping charge is going to be in advance so it's not a surprise and if you've already bought something and you're now getting discounted shipping it does also show you what your discounted shipping rate is so it's fantastic because you know i was bidding on a t-shirt and the first one was whatever four dollars for shipping but then the second one was like 250 or something like that maybe less i don't remember maybe less i feel like they were really low anyway 
that's awesome and I'm very excited I have plans for like all the stuff I'm gonna preload so that people can buy cheap stuff some sellers will preload with like buy me a diet coke or buy me diapers for my fucking baby you know I'm gonna put things in there that I'm actually going to send out to people if they want to buy them um, so I'm excited for that next this dress which I'll also I think be able to show you a label on it's very pretty it's just like a peach silk dress um, it's not strapless but it could be and you know long it just needs to be washed I actually think that I could probably soak it pretty successfully but you can see like it's grimy um, but it's very pretty I do have a photo of myself in this already um, let's see and this is here's the tag for that Frank Star original so um if it doesn't sell through the whatnot i have it listed on wounded bird currently if it doesn't sell there go the zip no zippers on the side if it doesn't sell and whatnot then i'll probably try my hand at soaking it and see if we can you know get it to look a little bit better um but for now it's going to be auctioned off starting at a dollar in my whatnot sale so this thing is so cool um, it's, I want to call it a coat, except that it's not open down the front, but I don't know if that's something that she did. She did a lot of weird alterations to shit. So I don't know if it was made like this or if she did this. Let's see. I suspect that she did it, but I'm not sure. Usually it takes, sometimes it's very obvious, the stuff that she altered because it's so like wacky. And other times it's a little more difficult to figure out <laughs> if it was her or not. But this is just gorgeous, but it is pretty filthy. I actually think it was made that way. The sides seem to have the same, whatever. So it's all closed down the front. I don't know if it's maybe a dressing gown or something. Like it's open pretty far down. There are a couple buttons here. Um, it does have these nice, what are those cups? I love that. So, but it's, it's, pretty dirty and it's metallic threads so it's not a good oxyclean candidate at all um, if it does not sell in the auction it's so freaking cool if it doesn't sell in the auction I will probably try and do a soak with like some blue dawn um, yeah I think this is even like a mark back here where like some of the metal was oxidized onto fabric that it was folded up into or something but it's just such a cool piece the other thing about pieces like this, um, part of the reason I haven't just like thrown, some people might look at that and go, that's disgusting, throw it away. Um, even if I can't successfully wash it, um, it's good to practice on because you learn things. You learn that when you try to oxyclean metallic threads, it doesn't go well, right? Um, and maybe I'll learn what happens when you try to clean metallic threads with Blue Dawn. We'll see. Isn't this so much fun? Um, this is basically what the whatnot auction is gonna look like, except you'll be able to bid on things as I'm spewing nonsensical bullshit about these clothing items. Okay, so uh, also I will wear something cooler than this. And look how fucking sweaty I am, man, Jesus. Okay, this is a cool dress. Um, I don't remember if this was hers or not. I did soak this already and there's been some weird like color leaching um it's not awful but it's not you know i don't know um i was going to try to maybe dye this and, you know some sort of complementary color to see if it kind of even things out like you can see here it's like all kind of modeled right it's not a consistent color but it's a really cool dress, probably something like that. So it's got this little yoke in the back. It's really pretty. Um, I don't know what it's made out of, maybe like an acetate. That's a guess, but I don't think it's silk. I don't know, but I'm gonna start it off at a dollar on whatnot. And if somebody wants it as is, cool. If they want it and they wanna try and dye it, that's cool. We'll see what happens. All right, we're getting kind of down. I have a lot of things, but. Um, let's see this dress is also really it's gorgeous it's very well made there's like a lot of construction shit going on in here right so you know 
it's a black cocktail dress, as you can kind of see. Um, what's interesting about it, besides a lot of things, so inside it has like, first of all, this is the waist stay. So if you're not familiar, a waist stay is essentially an internal belt that fits very tightly against your waist and helps support the weight of the skirt so it's not all like pulling on the shoulders, right? So often a waist stay is pretty narrow. So you can see this piece here, right? That's kind of what a waist stay would usually look like, but this has this whole extra piece to help support. So there's that. Um, the problem with this dress, besides it being stinky, like all the others, is that there's some weird bow type of thing in the front that is not attached to itself. Like it's not, I don't know what, I don't know what's supposed to happen. Whatever this is, it's not supposed to look like this. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I haven't been able to figure out if these things go like around the back or like what. It's a little mysterious. Maybe it's just a belt, but I feel like, I, well, maybe it is just a belt and I'm just dumb and I'm figuring it out here. I can't tell you how many times I've looked at this dress. stupid okay anyway there it is um yeah that was dumb but <laughs> it's a fucking belt we're still gonna put it up on the whatnot auction because hey i've got it and it is stinky and then if no oh wait look though wait there's like this it's i forget what that was hold on it's like a big i don't remember fancy part of the skirt it's really cute I am going to, again, try to get a photo of this on my body before the show because stuff like this, just on a hanger in front of people, is not going to do anything any justice. So um, hopefully I'll have at least one photo. Um, oh my God, I'm so sweaty. Mm. All right, moving along. But if it doesn't sell in the whatnot auction, that I'm starting at a dollar, uh, I'll try and soak it and see what happens. Okay, next is this cute little suit. Um, doo, doo, doo. So I think that the outside of the suit was pretty good. Again, stinky and dirty, but I think that this is something I would feel fairly comfortable trying to soak. Um, you know, just a knit skirt, I believe it is wool. Um, this waistband is kind of coming apart on the inside right now. I don't think it's a last no, oh, there is elastic in there. I don't see how though. I mean, I see how, I don't know why because the skirt itself doesn't stretch at all. So I don't know why there's elastic, but whatever. That's the skirt. And <laughs> here's the jacket. So um, yeah, there's that. I think it's wool. Just dirty, that's all. No, oh, there's the little label. So, um, sorry, you know what, I just realized after all of these label showings that the cameras flipped. My apologies, but whatever, I'll figure it out. Okay, this is a suede jacket. Uh, it's very cool, except it also looks pretty filthy. One of the things that I was excited to learn is that any garment leather you can actually wash I don't remember the details of it. There was a Facebook group for vintage clothing where a woman commented on one of the threads once about um, how you wash vintage leather, like what you have to be careful of. And she basically said, if it's a garment leather, you can wash it, but you have to do X, Y, Z. So I saved the screenshot of that post and I've been very excited to try it. I have two suede coats from this estate um, one, she removed whatever the collar was. So it's just like this raw open hem at the collar, which is a shame because the rest of the coat is fucking gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It's such like a supple, soft, thin, light blue suede. It's so cool. So that might be a good thing to sort of experiment on. This was the other one. It's a little bit heavier. Um, so we'll see. I don't know if somebody will want to buy this or not, but this is also, in my opinion, um, a pretty good candidate. So, uh, let's see. 
this is the kind of stuff I don't know how well this cleans up with a dry cleaner and dry cleaning leather is like fucking thirty dollars at least around here I don't know if other areas of the country it's lower but I'm in a very populated area in an expensive part of New Jersey so it's expensive to go to the dry cleaner for leather anyway still going this is very cool this is just a long coat it probably went over some sort of semi-formal dress um hold on or cocktail dress whatever but silk so um there are some like i'll get these off before i um auction it but there's like see here so it looks like a little piece of rice that's like a moth um little whatever moth larva casings from like clothes moths so i don't I didn't find holes in this, but it's got some of those on it. So, you know, um, I'll have to kind of check it out and disclose that stuff. But again, starting at a dollar and it's very cool and it's long. So exciting. All right. <sighs> this dress is also very cool. It's so stupid because all it needs is a replacement zipper and I've never done it. I paid $3 for this um, at, uh, like I basically went to a sale of a vintage store that was liquidating their inventory. Um, look at how cute this is. Look at that. And then, <laughs> but the little metal zipper on the side is broken. Um, one of the reasons I've procrastinated it as long as I have is because, you know, I would want the new zipper to also be metal. And I don't know that some modern dry cleaner is going to bother doing that. I don't have like some kind of, you know, vintage specialist dry cleaner. Um, I don't know how to sew. So whatever. So i um, going to sell it for a dollar starting auction bid price on whatnot if you're interested. Come to my shop. All right. This is very cool. I can't remember what's wrong with it besides stinky. It is also from the estate. Of, I call it the granny hoard estate. She wasn't a hoarder. She just had a fuck ton of clothing. She certainly had the space for it. She just never let anything go. Um, oh, this does have some shit going on. Okay. So this is like obviously some kind of coat thing. Look at that pocket. That's really cool. Look at that. Um, the buttons seem to not be where they're supposed to be. She did that kind of shit a lot. There is a repair thing here. Um, so I'll play around with the buttons. The buttons are really cool though. Oh my God. Not only are the buttons not where they're supposed to be, I just unbuttoned one and like, she's got it fucking stitched closed. Like, <laughs> it's kind of shit all the time. Let me see if I can show you this with the other button though, if it works. It's really cool. So it's like this little metal circle and then it's got this guy here, right? He's like, uh, I'm all screwed up as to where my uh, lens is. And then it pops in and you pinch it to release the button to open it. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have to take that stitching out. <laughs> not only is, did she stitch it closed, but it's like, it's not even like, it's like wonky you know like the way that the fabric lays it's crooked whatever but look at that look at that print it's a print it's like brocade and bright whatever it's fantastic but you know it's also like dirty and of course stinky but it's so freaking cool um so that'll be included in the auction i've got this giant pile next to me we are kind of almost done um let's see this this i might not even do it's um i don't know we'll see it's just a little green blazer that i thrifted at some point but it was a disaster when i thrifted it it's i did get it dry cleaned which did not solve any of my fucking problems um because it had been riddled apparently with moths and so the 
dry cleaning just sort of like brought all the holes out and it's missing 8 million buttons, but it was cute. <laughs> I haven't been able to bring myself to get rid of it. So anyway, it's just, and it's like very thin, um, oh my God, a very thin wool. So I don't know. I'll probably, I mean, I probably will include this in the show, um, but it's got a lot of issues, but it's cute. Anyway, I like the silhouette of it. All right, this is another dress from Granny Horde. Um, pink polka dot silk. Yay. So it's cute, but it's dirty. Um, look at it's got this cute belt thing in the back though. Um, it's smelly, but also like a little visibly dirty. So this is something that if it does not sell, I will probably at some point try to soak it and see what happens. Um, I don't know how well it will hold up to soaking, but we'll see. Also has a waist stay in it. Um, generally speaking, the stuff with the waist stays are just really well made. You didn't find that in like some junky cheap store dress, you know, all of her things were like, she had so many beautiful designer pieces, Pucci and just really gorgeous stuff. Some of them I had never heard of before, but when I researched them, they went for a lot of money. Um, all right. This was my own dress that I thrifted many years ago, used to wear. Um, it is a Betsy Johnson, but it had straps that, um, had, there's pins here that had fallen off or like whatever. I think I cut them off and I used to wear it just sort of like pinned to my bra strap or a slip and then have like a cardigan over it. Um, I've always intended to try and put something on as replacement straps and I haven't done it, but look at how cute it is. I love it. So, um, that'll be included in the sale. I am almost done here. All right. This is a two piece. Now, you know what? whatever it's in my hands this is a two-piece number that confuses me a little but it's a skirt it is a one layer well I mean it's lined but it's lined with like a super sheer material but I, it's, it feels like silk obviously peacock feather print um metal zipper in the back so it's cute but the partner piece um seems to be a dress and I don't know why you would have a skirt under a dress so I don't know again I haven't played around with the dress enough which is sad because I've had these things for you know two plus years now hold on let me zip this up the back I think part of this too is that this is another thing that I'm a little afraid to soak because I'm afraid the color is just going to bleed everywhere so ooh. all right oh this is what it is so it's got all this big bow here and then I've got this giant mess of fabric. I think this also used to be a second big bow. Right? I'm going to imagine it went something like that. She probably undid this and I, you know, I don't know. She did a lot of things. <laughs> I don't know. Or she put it on there. That might be what she did. There's weird stitching here. Anyway, the dress itself, if you take this giant sash out of the way, it's still quite pretty. Um, so I will list them together because obviously, why would I not? Because they're, wow, it's pretty long. She was so tiny too. Um, anyway, um, it's really pretty. It does need something done with this. Uh, either it needs to be removed or it needs to be tacked back up one or the other. but that's going to be in the sale. Very pretty. All right, let's see. This is just a trench coat that needs to be washed and I haven't done it. Um, I'm not afraid of doing it. I just haven't bothered yet. Hold on. I'm going to button one button so that you can kind of see. Um, it is just, you know, your basic trench coat. Um, it's got some like actual like dirty spots. It's not just like grunge. It's got, you know, dirt, dirt. Um, but it seems like a thing that should clean up somewhat easily. Um, if it does not, it's cotton, polyester, and nylon, right? So if it doesn't sell during the whatnot sale, it will return to my little pile to someday get a nice bath. Um, for now, on Saturday, it's gonna be offered up, starting at a dollar on whatnot. All right, how obnoxious is this, by the way? <laughs> 
the whatnot push. This, I've pulled it out, but honestly, I don't know that I'm gonna sell it in the whatnot sale um, because I think it's so cool. I just think it's too cool. It is a pink, probably a like a dressing gown or a robe. It's velvety, but it's a very lightweight velvet. Um, let's see if I can put this waist together for you for a second. Once again, she moved the fucking snap closure. So everything is all wonky, so that has to be moved back. But look at how pretty this is. I've gone back and forth about whether it's a coat or a dressing gown, or maybe it's a dress, I don't know. It's got buttons all down the front. Um, but it, I don't know. I feel like it's a coat or like a robe. It's, there we go. Bergdorf Goodman. I mean, it's so pretty. And then it has this belt that ties in the back. Um, I really love it. And maybe I'll try and just clean it. Look at how, can you see that? It's like nasty in there. I love this one. I just have been a little intimidated by trying to, oh, the underarms are oh, shredded and yeah, we'll see. So maybe I'll offer it up. And if it doesn't sell, then I'll play around with it and experiment. So Oh my God, the back of my hair is so wet, so gross. That's my whole little haul for the sale on whatnot. I'm gonna work to get those preloaded in um, and uh, photographed and preloaded. I am super intimidated by doing this sale, but I'm also super excited. Um, I, I just have a lot of fun being on camera. I feel like I'm gonna be good at staying engaged with people. But you know, the first show, there's a lot of technical crap. Like as you run each auction, you have to like start it. Um, I haven't done any of that kind of stuff on the side yet. And I don't really know the ins and outs. And I don't think that I'm gonna have somebody, I mean, I could ask Lord, my boyfriend to help me, um, but I don't know what I'm doing to be able to show him what, <laughs> what to do. So I don't wanna have that like dead air kind of space on the first show, but it might be inevitable anyway. Also, I would really love to run an air conditioner because I'm dripping fucking sweat right now and it's awful and I hate my life. I appreciate you watching this. I would love if you come to my whatnot show. Um, I'm sorry I'm being obnoxious about it. I will say that um, when the reselling community first started getting engaged in the whatnot app, I was just, I was rolling my eyes at it because they were all like, all like the big kid resellers um, who mostly do like modern clothing. They were all like, oh, whatnot, whatnot. And I love the community and it's so much fun and I've never done anything better in my whole life than whatnot, it's amazing. And it just seemed like the push was way too hard. And there is definitely like incentives. So the same way that like if you come, you know, if you sign up through my link as a buyer and you get a $10 credit to spend, whatnot does also incentivize sellers to bring in other sellers. So there are um, financial incentives if somebody signs up under me and then makes a sale I can get bonuses that way um, you know and I think that some of the resellers have turned that into its own stream of income <laughs> you know as far as I could tell so it really came off as obnoxious to me for a while but I'm I'm enjoying the very small vintage community that I've seen on there so far um, I have made a couple of purchases. Uh, there was one of the shows that I love watching, the, the type of shows are the estate sale category because essentially what these people do is like, maybe they've gone and they're doing like a liquidation of an estate sale or something like that, or they go to a, an auction, like an auction house auction and they're buying like bulk stuff. And um, they're just going through it with you on camera and they're doing everything at very low prices and sometimes they get bid up and sometimes they don't. And it's just a lot of fun. It's almost like going to a live auction yourself where you don't know what's gonna be up for, for sale. One woman, I wish I could remember her name on Whatnot at right now, but I have so much fun watching her show. She's in Missouri, I believe, and she goes to like barn sales and buys all the stuff. And then she, as she's unloading her car, she'll like take a box out of the car and just start showing it on camera and running auctions. It's so cool she'll be live for like eight fucking hours in a day it's incredible so it's a lot of fun that way and you can get really great deals um but you also can go and like you know buy from more curated sellers i think i haven't really found some of the curated sellers for the stuff that i'm interested in yet but i think that's part of what 
the whatnot team is trying to build are different categories of product because it's really been like the collectibles and then the t-shirt rows and stuff and i know that there's like some music categories and things so you know um i think that the estate sale the vintage decor the vintage clothing like what we consider vintage clothing um is all a growing bunch of categories on whatnot so i think it'll be exciting worst case scenario i get rid of a bunch of stuff really cheap and i have more space in my house so I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I really hope to see you in my whatnot sale. Even if you like just let it play on your phone and ignore me, it's not, I won't be super upset, but uh, thank you so much. I will see you soon.